What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So now that the mechanics are done, interior is done, well, the list is getting smaller. Let's go over what's left. Oh, it's been a while since I've uh, seen a list this crossed off. So, mechanical stuff is done. Interior stuff is done. So all that's left is this ex exterior stuff, which is, it's honestly super simple stuff. Uh, today we're gonna start with, let's see, lighting stuff. New headlights, new fog lights, and the reverse, uh, 95 style reverse lights, 94 plus 95, whatever it is. And then we'll see, if we have time, we can maybe install those uh, plastic panels on the front end of the car. We'll go over stuff as I do it. Awesome. I hope you enjoy this video again. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't. Let's get some lights put in this sucker. We're gonna start off with these reverse lights. We gotta install them in here. The reason he didn't do it is because, well, to my understanding, um, when you open the trunk behind this, that metal back there, I think it needs to be massaged to be able to fit these in here because they are, I guess, too, too wide or something. I don't know. We're gonna get that done and uh, throw those suckers on, make sure they work. And then I'm gonna flip the car around and we'll do the front end stuff. Let's get it going. So now that I have this thing put together, what I meant by massage, as you can see, so when you're trying to put this on, see the lights right there, they hit. Okay, so I'm gonna take those two spots, ignore the trunk, well, that'll be its own thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna take these two spots right there, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna clean them up, use a heat gun to warm up the metal, and then I'm gonna take a rubber mallet and massage. Should be good. Simple as that. So they're in. So what I have to do next is carefully drop this off. Put that aside. You can see here, I have the reverse light bulbs. I need to solder them into here. Just wire them in. Wire them into these two. Plug them in and reverse lights are all done. So I'm gonna do this real quick, get it all done, and then I'll get back to you guys. Got him wired up, heat trunk. Um, he doesn't have the lock, which sticks out a little further than the 91s, but something that we can all put up with. Um, yeah, so now let's let's clean up this truck. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. And these are the plastic pieces that we're talking about. So on the front of the bumper, on the front bumper underneath, we'll throw those on a little later. So let's clean up this trunk, get it all organized, put it back together, clean it up, um, and then we'll take everything out. And then I'll have to flip the car around and uh, start doing the headlights and fog lights. Let's get it done.
All right, it's all put together and clean. I put all the new clips back there, as you guys can see. Those old ones were just garbage. Anyway, so cleaned it all up. For being such a small car, it's a pretty big trunk. Let's see if I can see if I can kind of demonstrate. Like here's my arm. I don't know if that helps, but but yeah, that's a pretty pretty decent sized trunk. If anybody doesn't know. All right, now we got to flip the car around. And start on the front. Boy, it's been a minute since the car has faced this way in this garage. So I got up on jack stands. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is obviously the headlights just because they're easier. They should, should, keyword, um, be just plug and play. So we'll see. I think I have to run this. I think this is probably for the daytime running lights or something, we'll see. So I wanna do these lights first, get those thrown in, and then we'll worry about the fog lights. Yeah, let's get these lights in first. Okay, so I went ahead a little bit and did some stuff and I want to show you guys what I did because to convert, I think most uh, H4 size bulbs like 90s, Toyotas and whatever else, um, you need a conversion harness, which is this. So I kind of set mine up and this is how you connect it because otherwise you won't get these to work. It has, has something to do with the way the uh, relays work in the headlights, like a negative charge or positive or something. I don't know. I'm not that, you know, electrically inclined or whatever but anyway i just followed directions and i'll kind of run you guys through what i did to get these to work so what that harness does technically so you plug in so i took one of the headlight harness i pushed it back through plug it into this harness then it goes to these two relays from these relays it runs two wires back with like an h4 plug so you get one here get one i'll clean all this up obviously goes to the other headlight and then they each have a ground which we're gonna ground like that I just put a let's see if I can get in there I put a slit in the grommet and I just shoved everything back through so it's good it's not nothing's gonna rip it or cut it back there I put um self tap that over there that's not going anywhere I'm gonna clean all this up again like I said I have to extend this um, positive wire I have to extend that. I'm gonna probably tuck it. I'm gonna tuck as much stuff as I can, probably clean it up, tuck all in there, and run it to the battery. After that, these will work, and I'll show you guys how, how they look. Stay tuned. So, after fiddling around with these things for a good while, <laughs> including I have a conversion harness. Anyways, the harness, everything worked, they work, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go a different route at this time because, so this way they are the same shape and everything, they fit. But when you look at them this way, this was my fault. I should have checked. See the shape of that? Well, the squareness in this one right here does not fit in this tub at all. I mean, I don't even think butchering this up would work because there's there's more back there like that. So, in other words, these will not work. So if you have an MR2, don't buy anything with square back. Make sure they're curved in like that, like that where it shrinks. So we're gonna do, it's not over yet, I, I am gonna upgrade. So somebody upgraded these lights at some point. Um, usually there's um, what, what's called a sealed beam, which I have one right here. See, so you can't, you can't replace the bulb. You pretty much replace this whole thing. So somebody at some point replaced it with some uh, Hella lights, which are not sealed beam. So you can actually take this off. You know, if you get a, bur a burn bulb or if you wanna install HIDs, LEDs, and this, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not a projector, but anyways, so you can actually replace this bulb instead of replacing the whole thing. So I'm gonna throw in these brand new, what are they called, Osram bulbs. These are, they have, they, they have some blue on the bulb, but they're not blue, you guys will see. I'll show you guys, I'll uh, show you guys the difference between the factory ones, well, the one that I just took out, and these ones that I already put one in there. You can see it was a little bit of blue in there. Gotta clean these bugs off, but. And there, there you go. So it's not bad, and it's not like you know, it's not gonna blind up out here or anything. But anyways, let me show you guys the difference. Let me put this. This is the 
one I just took out. I'll plug it in real quick, turn on the lights, and I'll show you guys the difference. These are the ones on the car right now. It's kind of weird how the camera's picking them up. You see how it's kind of yellow? So these are the ones we're going to put in. I really don't know if you can tell the difference, but maybe a little bit. They're more of like a white. These are more of like a, like a yellow tinge to them. Kind of hard to show on camera. Well, I guess you can kind of see it here. Let's see if I can turn off a light. Yeah, there you go. So that's really yellow. And these are more more of a bright white, but still kind of yellow-ish. So still factory looking, a lot brighter. I've, I had these in one of my other cars, a lot brighter. So I'm going to throw those bulbs in there, put all this stuff back, and let's move to the fog lights. Let's get her done. Let's finish this. Even though it didn't go to plan, I'm going to say that actually looks really good. Let's turn them on double triple quadruple check they work oh yeah yeah they're all whiter and stuff uh, can't see anything in my messy garage but that's okay i'll align them and stuff when the car is back down we'll do it outside in the dark but yeah so the headlights are done let's move on to these fog lights okay so those are the fog lights we're installing um he went for a smoked look to match the, the markers and the sides and everything so this car doesn't have the cutout, but it does have the wiring and the brackets for the fogs. So obviously the plug is different. So I'm gonna splice this one into there and then we'll have to trim this here and here. Put them on, plug them in, we're done. Simple as that. So I'm gonna do this again off camera. I don't like doing wiring on camera. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll uh, plug them in, test to make sure everything works. And then we'll zip zap installing we're done see you guys soon all right so there you go both plugged in both working now we just got to trim the bumper on both sides and install them let's get that done it's cut a lot of people would freak out about this to be honest but if you want to put fog lights in this car that's kind of what you have to do it's pretty easy just took a knife and cut it don't cut yourself <laughs> whatever you do on your own is your problem if you cut yourself it's your problem not mine so uh yeah but check it out so they fit in here perfect and the bolt holes up there line up and then you also have to stick this in here i believe that's for the adjustment so we're just gonna plug them in put them in or plug them in put the screws up there and that's it fog lights and headlights are done all right that's it they're done they're on we can turn them on one more time. There you go. Oh, I wish this phone had a wide angle lens. Oh, that looks so good. I really, really like that. Funny how something so simple can change your car so much. I love it. More visibility, more safety, all around a good mod, good upgrade. All right, so as you guys saw, I went ahead underneath and just put installed those belly pans, just threw up a bunch of hardware, put them in there, got them in the car. So got that off the list as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was a lot, probably a little shorter than the rest of the videos that have been coming out, but look at that. It's funny, something so simple, so simple, but yet it's even good for the car. Oh, that looks so good, I can't get over that. Thank you guys for watching. I know that wasn't really a DIY type video, but 
that's not really what I'm doing. You know, we're just restoring this car, making it look better, run better, drive better, everything better. All right, guys. See you in the next one.